Hello guys, Mark from Threshold Media. Um, today we're going to be playing with the sound effector in C4D and hopefully creating something like this. So there you have it, um, all this created in C4D, um, as you can see what we've got is um, a cube which is uh, well, essentially what we have got is a cube which has been cloned along a spline and the sound effector added to make the cubes dance to the music. Now two things or a couple of things you need to bear in mind is the sound effector only works with WAV files, WAV music files, and they have to be either 8 bit or 16 bit. They won't work with 32 bit files. Um, that was just something I had to work out when I was doing this. So let's get into C4D and uh, see if we can create this. Move this to one side. Oh dear, don't want that die. Okay, first thing we want is um, a spline, it can be any shape, but my one, I had one of these, make sure it's laid flat on the plane. Uh, okay, now we want a cube, which is what we're going to um, clone, size that suitably to whatever size you want it to be. In my case, I um, filleted the cube just to give it a bit more interest. Um, okay, now what do we want? We want uh, a spline effector. There we go. Of course, in the spline bit, we want our spline added in there. So we need a cloner for our cube, stick your cube in the cloner. We want that. And we want to make sure that our spline effector is in there. Good, good. And now we want to up the amount of clones that we have. So we need to rotate our base cube around to do this, select the rotate tool and this one, the axis move tool and just spin that around 90 degrees, oh no, sorry, I need to make that editable first and spin that 90 degrees, excellent, come to your side view and select your move tool and just pull it down slightly so the clones are slightly more above the floor like so now would be an opportune moment to put a floor in and here's where we're at so far okay now probably time to add our spline effector in. Um, in order to do that come up to your MoGraph menu and add 
sound effector. And in your cloner, just click into your cloner and click effector and drag your sound effector into that, like so. Right, in your, go back into your sound effector and now you need to add a sound file in. Um, just to confirm, this sound file needs to be a WAV file and um, of 18 or 16 bit in, um, frequency. Okay, so in order to do that in your sound effector, um, effector, click on this button here and you can select your sound file. Now, in my library somewhere, I have a wave track which I've already converted to a suitable frequency, which is this one. So I'll double click and add that in. You can see it's already had an effect by dragging them up. What it's done, it's had such an effect, it's pulled them all up in above the floor. And if I drag the timeline, you can see them jumping around to the music. And what you need to do is extend your timeline considerably to get a decent amount of time. Okay. Um, we don't want all of them jumping up simultaneously. We want them to have the effect of stepped. Funny enough, if you go to apply mode and select step, you'll see that they these are all now representing different frequencies, if you like, in the music. Um, we need to move our cloner down slightly because it's they're all above the floor, which is not what we want. So grab your cloner cube and just position them. You may even need to resize it slightly. So it works a bit better. Whoop, not that much. There we go. It's a bit better. Uh, let's do some tweaking here, size wise. Don't want them too large, but equally, you don't want them sticking out too, too far. Okay. So. Back to our sound effector, we've got them doing all this stuff, still not quite what we want. Um, next thing we want to change is you can use the, um, make these different colours as per the frequency. We don't want position to change, we want the scale to change on the y-axis. Um, so how much you want them to change is up to you. It's a case of tweaking as you see fit really. Go for one for now. Um, if you want them to change colour, turn your colour mode to on. Go back to your effector and then pick whatever range of colours you want. For mine I had red and yellow. So you get this change of colour as you go around. And equally when they're um when there's nothing going on, they go black. Okay, let's see what else we need to do. Um, I think we need to change our Y uh, scale quite high, make it 15, and then grab your cube from your cloner and shrink that down. Because we want these to be really low when there's nothing happening. So if we just scrub that through, there we go, that's more what we want. You get a real idea of the mixture. Yeah, that's definitely more the effect I was after. Um, the movement is quite abrupt, and so in order to smooth it out a little bit, you can add a 
delay effector to that. Um, add that into your cloner object. And the only thing we want to delay, obviously, is the scale. Uh, and again, change your strength as to whatever you think fits, really. See, so it smooths it out a little bit more. In fact, I think 50% is quite nice. Um, just render that through. Um, doesn't look very interesting at the moment because I've got no lights. Um, I'll quickly run through how I created the effect I had. Um, that is fairly simple. That's add a light into your scene. Um, and my light used shadows. I had a orangey sort of light. And I had uh, volumetric volumetric lights. Um, right, render that out, see what we've got. There we go, it's a little bit bright possibly. Let's just drag it down. See what we've got now. Good, that's more like it. Um, what else did we have? Dust. Oh, that's right. Um, no, we didn't. It was. Uh, what am I looking at? Noise. What a noise effector in the visibility. Let's create this turbulence effect. And there we go. I also had a camera that rotated around the scene in a plane. Um, sorry, on a spline. But I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure you can probably work that out for yourselves. So there we go. That's um, how to use the sound effector in C4D. Um, don't forget, must be a WAV file. Has to be eight or sixteen bits. MP3s won't work. Um, and you can add them to any spline. Or well, it doesn't even have to be a spline. You could add them to a, any object. Preferably a clone or any cloner object, it doesn't have to be on a spline, they could be stood up on top of each other and dancing out side to side. Um, you can do pretty much anything with them, really, and hopefully, you will come up with something like I did here. Enjoy, see you soon.